Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, this is Praveen Chava, a Senior DevOps Research Associate from Miracle Software Systems. Today, I am exploring about exploring continuous integration for MuleSoft with Jenkins, Maven and Doc. And today's agenda is what is MuleSoft? Introduction to CACD, MuleSoft deployment architecture followed by a live demo. And what is MuleSoft? Mule is the runtime engine of independent platform and it is a lightweight Java based enterprise service bus which provides an integration platform to connect data and APIs across on prem and cloud computing environments. And it provides agility in both on prem and cloud. MuleSoft Anytime Platform integrates or connects SaaS applications and existing legacy applications through application programming interfaces. And what is CI-CD? CI stands for Continuous Integration and CD stands for Continuous Deployment. And when the term DevOps comes into picture, it is all about automation, how fast the code from developer to the production will be moved and how automated is the things done. So that's where how continuously integrating things and continuously delivering the product that's uh, that is CICD and one of the most popular tool that uh, among all being used is Jenkins which is open source so Jenkins is a popular open open source tool to perform continuous integration continuous delivery continuous deployment uh, and build automations so the basic functionality of uh, Jenkins is to execute a predefined list of steps which can also trigger a notification for any execution which can be a time based or an event based. Jenkins is a self contained Java based program, monit a program that monitors the execution of the steps and allows to stop the process if any one of the steps fails. Jenkins can also send out the notification if any build failure or deployment failures uh, or test case failure we'll discuss uh, at the time of demo about it more and uh, Jenkins can be extended by additional plugins and th there are many configuration ways like master node configuration or uh, what we call it as slave so it can be expandable as many as we can and this is the architecture that we are going to show today what exactly happening in this architecture and what are all the tools that we used once the developer check in the code MuleSoft API code to team foundation server which is the version control and uh, a source code repository by Microsoft then Jenkins is configured such a way that it it always looks for the code changes so whenever a change happens it pulls the code and then it it does the remaining steps first if any test cases are there first it goes through uh, immune test but before that it will go go to the code analysis for any leakage or uh, any vulnerabilities are there using a sonar cube code quality check and then it will build the artifact it will store it in artifactory and then docker images are being built for test and then product environment and then deployed everything is uh, after checking in and after code is in TFS everything is being done by Jenkins and all the jobs that you see here are inside Jenkins and not only jobs we also tested immunity test cases that we are going to showcase you if immunity test is failed automatically the build will be stopped and right now just jump into live demo as I said this is Jenkins dashboard and uh, this is the pipeline view that we created for test environment and before we jump into the explanation of pipelines that we had already created let me check in the code so the process continues and then we can discuss about it here the scenario is there is a version number 1.0.2 which is already in production and there is another version which is being tested 1.0.4 uh, which means 1.0.3 is already failure and 1.0.4 is being tested let us assume that 1.0.4 is also a failure now what we are going to do is we had already asked developers to develop the code and make the changes uh, make the necessary changes wherever it broke so now the developers had already 
made necessary changes and they're ready to check in so they checked in the code to tfs now if you go to tfs you can see the chain set update which is updates that just now pushed and if you can see the chain set number just now 32 so Jenkins is configured in such a way that whenever a change is detected in TFS automatically it pulls that change and uh, trigger this pipeline what is this pipeline means first it will pull the data that that is being changed and then it will archive for the artifacts and at the time of pulling itself it will check in sonar cube whether any code code vulnerabilities are there and once archiving is done then it will push to artifactory as well as it will create the test image to deploy in a test environment and then it will deploy and then run the test image if you see the color what is the color representation of this green is success yellow is in the process and blue is waiting stage if if you see any red color that means uh, the build was failed you at that point you can configure to get an alert like an email so what are other pipelines that we had created right so one is test the other one is production because not every test image is going to be production so whatever the testing team say hey this, this is good image you can move to production we'll move that image to production and at that point we create a production image and store it in docker hub so this is docker hub where it has already one production image which was successful and we will test is the test image every time whenever a new version is uploaded to or check into tfs only this image is being replaced so that once if testing team says hey everything is good then only we create a production image and now if you go to jenkins so this is production and there is a feature for rollback as well because sometimes even though everything seems good at testing sometimes it might fail in production so there we have option for rollback to come back to previous version and these are all the jobs that we configured uh, for this so if you go to test environment now here is the test and it is already deploying and then it will run as it is being done we what we did in poll itself if you go to sonar cube it has already checked the version it it created for our uh, dashboard i mean uh, it, it gave us all the data that is necessary if any vulnerabilities or any code smells or any duplications of the codes or anything and if you go to artifactory you will find your artifacts being stored in this artifactory like this so if you click on that 1.0.5 here is the timestamp that just now we pushed in and as i said the test image is being deployed so it is just now deployed and then it is going to run it okay and while we are waiting for this to deploy we have we also implemented a but a unit test at the time of archiving what it does so if you see here our developers had already integrated a unit test cases in their application itself so as of now everything went good because the immunity test is also successful in here if you go to archive and then if you see the build job which is the latest one 27th one if you see the console output then you can see here success and success message for the two test cases that we implemented and also you can see the result like a tabular form like this so how many tests it does how many failures it it, uh, it detected how many errors how many skipped it detected so and how many resources how many flows it checked and everything you can see here so just jump into that immunity test and check 
whether we can do it whether it is working properly or not so let me change a property over here instead of resource not found let us say the expected result or expected value is Praveen resource not found we change the expected value so that it should throw the error now right so now I'm going to check in, in the code and it is evaluating the code to check in well we while we are waiting for that evaluation if you see the test console it should get the updated one version 1.0.5 and let us assume that version 1.0.5 is a successful one so we are moving to production and production is configured to do um, parameterized because not every as we as we said not every test image is moved to production right so we are moving those who are past the test when I go to production and when I hit this it is asking for version and timestamp what is this and where do I get it from artifactory if you can see the latest snapshot 1.0.5 if you highlight that zip which is the archive you will see the version and timestamp at the end so let me copy the timestamp to the Jenkins job and the version is 1.0.5 just like that now I started to build now if you go to production see the production image is being created now till now we tested only test image now production image is being created once it is done you can see the production image in docker hub so and we are doing a test case right and the changes are ready to be done I just now checked in and checked in is done so once the check in is done you can see the history here which will change the change set number to 33 and now Jenkins is ready to pull it started to pull the data which, which has modified and once it is done first it will is the same processor it will do the uh, sonar cube code vulnerability check and everything and then it will pass to archiving at the time of archiving it will look for the test that we are talking about if you go to this archive and if you see the console output over here is a failure now so because the expected versus the reality is different here the immunity test case was failed with an error if you can see the report it says two test cases and there is a failure so it will stop right here by saying that hey uh, immunity test cases were failed and if you see the test you will see that the whole procedure or the whole pipeline was stopped at uh, archiving so that's where it became red and uh, yeah did you remember we had already pushed it to production and if you see the production it should have 1.0.5 yep it has 1.0.5 and let us assume that this 1.0.5 was failed in production for some reason now we need to go back to one of the previous versions that was already successful okay <clears throat> where do you get it which one is successful and what here in docker hub we are storing only the successful image and whenever a test a test should be done we are updating only the test image so uh, this one is five minutes ago and this is four days ago so this is the previous one and now i'm going to copy the timestamp for this one and the version is 1.0.2 I'm just going to roll in back
what this this one does is it will replace the old image of 1.0.5 which was already in production with 1.0.2 version which is a successful version and that's where the rollback plays a major role if anything goes wrong it will roll back to previous version and wh why do we use artifactory here is to store all the build versions that we have been doing so for example let us say you want to check hey um, in 1.0.4 we made some changes we wanted to test 1.0.4 one more time or 1.0.5 one more time then you can go back to artifactory and pull that previous image to see where you make the changes or anything so you can deploy into test environment from artifactory so that you have everything lined up and just like that it is saying it is successful rollback is successful so the production image should be changed from 1.0.5 to 1.0.2 yep if you see here the version number is changed to 1.0.2 and that's it that's all about the demo our teams are dedicated to innovating with IT and redefining solutions for customer excellence so to learn more about uh, other technologies and uh, other in innovations that we are doing you can follow us on twitter at team underscore mss you can follow us you can subscribe to miracle 45625 or you can even follow us on facebook at miracle 45625 thank you thank you for watching the laboratory a video series brought to you by miracles innovation labs for more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash dlabs.